So a fascinating story now, and definitely one that got us talking. Tara O'Connell has suffered thousands of epileptic fits a year since she was a baby. Now she's in the clear, all thanks, her parents say, to medicinal marijuana. A Victorian mother is calling for a trial of medicinal marijuana. She says it's all but cured her eight-year-old. The little girl has had a miraculous recovery. It was one of the big stories of the weekend. An eight-year-old girl virtually free of chronic epilepsy through medicinal marijuana. She had a first seizure at six weeks old and basically from that moment on she didn't go a day seizure free. Most days in excess of 65 seizures and at least 15 of those would render her unconscious. It was harrowing for the whole family. Tara's IQ was now too low to score. She couldn't say more than two words in a sentence. Basically fully reliant on everyone for everything. This is Tara now. Her name's Dora. Happiest at home with her family and her favourite animals. Tara's parents have been treating her with liquid marijuana for the last 12 months. The results were almost immediate. Within two hours, um, we noticed a big difference in alertness and then we're starting to think, oh, maybe there is something to this. Um, but we weren't really sure if it was just she was having a good day. But then those good days just kept coming. We're actually getting to see Tara for who she really is, a bubbly, energetic little girl. One thing the project discovered yesterday is who Tara would like to meet most. Can I give you a hand with this? How are you? You didn't see me at first, did you? We um, created a bucket list working with Tara when she was about three, four years old, and meeting Dr Chris has been one right up there from word go. It's um, one of her dreams come true. Penguin net and a zebra. Zebra as well. Really? Yeah. Lions eat. They chase around and eat I the know. zebra. That's why I think it's crazy, but I like it. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. And Chris joins us now. How was that? It was a lovely thing to do to meet Tara. No, look, I guess it's a case that intrigues me as much as it does everyone else. But the thing that really took me about Tara is the fact that there is this very nurturing, very, very giving and a very bubbly little girl there. But as her mum said, for that family, they only really got to know her for the first time a few months ago when she came off all those drugs. She's been on heavy medication since she was six weeks of age when she first started seizuring. So they've only just got to know their own daughter. Oh, and, for, you know, for her mum to, to be told that she may be dead within a year to two years, I can see as a parent why you would go to whatever length you had to go to mm. to try and, you know, help your child. That's the thing. I, I guess no matter what you think about this sort of medication, the fact is she was at the end of the road. She had to do something and she went so far out of left field. But in the end, it is something that has worked. Chris, the thing I find intriguing about this is that, uh, is that cannabis is illegal for any purpose in Australia, but in many other countries, in Canada and Spain and Italy and 20 states of the US, it's available for medicinal purposes. So there's a distinction. And you'd really reckon that we should conduct a trial or something just to test it for medicinal purposes. Look, I mean, there's certainly some evidence there. And in Australia, there certainly hasn't been the studies done that, that are clearly necessary. And I think it's probably time that we looked at it and, and realised that... It, in the form that it is as being used with Tara there, it has so little THC that you can't really call it marijuana anymore. So it's not a drug that can be abused, so to speak. So really the restriction should, you would think, be lifted. It's funny, talking about it today, none of us could find an objection. Like, mm -hmm. no, you know, we, we tried to look at it from every possible side and there didn't seem to be a good reason why we shouldn't pursue this, why we shouldn't trial it trial. And, know, and know exactly what its capabilities are. Mm. I just don't think a, a mother like Sherry there should have to break a law mm. in order to just save her, her own daughter's life. I think when it gets to that point, you, you've got to question the, the reality of the situation and the sense behind it. Well, if you want to get behind Tara's law, go to our website. All the details are there. Thanks for making her day. No worries. Time now for another break. We'll be back in a moment.